Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward by teaching you how to make this cupcake um, granny epicue. Um, and in the next video after that, I will be showing you how to make the granny uh, square portion. And then the third piece will be how to do the continuous join, which is right there, a little closer. Um, I think it's super cute and it's turning out wonderful. I spent the whole day yesterday tweaking it, starting, restarting, but I'm so happy to share this um, and I think that you will enjoy it too. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on showing you how to do a granny square because uh, it's following the basics, just a couple things that are different. I'm using worsted weight, uh, red heart, um, saver, super saver, and I'm using a 5.0 H crochet hook. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is chain 14. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Next thing we're going to do is single crochet back to the original um, first chain for a total of 13. And we will be starting immediately in that first chain right here. There you go, to your left. So single crochet all the way back for a total of 13 and I'll meet you back. Okay. Once you have your 13 single crochets, we want to chain 3, which will also count as your first double crochet. Turn your work and make 2 double crochets in that first chain. This is going to be the repeat pattern for the rest of the rows. We're going to skip 2 chains and right here in the third, 3 double crochets. Skip two chains, and in the third chain, three double crochet. You should have a total of five at the end of this row, and I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm back here on our initial first chain. Make sure uh, you're going through both of these um, strands of yarn uh, so you don't end up with a big hole. And you should end up right here at the very end for your fifth set of double crochets. From here we want to chain one, turn our work, skip this first chain, and we're going to slip into the second chain, slip into the third, and slip into the chain two space. Chain up three, and again the repeat pattern to double crochet. We're going to put three double crochet in each of the chain two spaces across for a total of four and I'll meet you back. Okay we're on our last set um, and you just want to chain one and cut your yarn. And now you're done with that row. The next row we're going to attach our white yarn this is going to be um, considered the whip topping and you can attach any way you feel comfortable with. There are lots of ways to attach. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. And this is how I'll attach because this is how I feel comfortable. I feel it's more sturdy. And we're going to repeat the same um, pattern as the first and second rows of double crochet. Chain up three, two double crochet, and go jump right into the next one. I am not um, putting a chain in between these. Um, if that's the way you make your granny square, I think it would still turn out okay, um, but that's not how I'm doing this pattern. So continue to do two more sets and I will meet you back. Okay, 
did my third row of the granny square pattern por portion of this and remember uh, always to chain one and then cut your yarn now for the cherry um, as you will note we have three uh, double crochet sets here we want to take the middle one and go right into the middle and attach our yarn once we've attached our yarn we want to just chain two one two Okay, yarn over in that same chain. We want to do one stitch, but do not complete it. It's like a half double crochet, yarn over, come back, repeat. We want to do this until we have five loops on our hook. We have four. It's a total of four times yarning over. Once we've done this, yarn over through all of them chain to secure it and then come back in that same chain and do a slip. Now we want to cut and that is our cherry. We might have to form it a little bit. Okay, next step is our base. I'm going to get the yarn ready and I'll meet you back. Okay, now you want to turn your top portion of your cupcake upside down and attach your yarn right here where you started your chain 14. Once we've done that, we want to single crochet and then single crochet in each of the chain stitches all the way across for a total of 13. And I will meet you back here. Okay, you should have 13 single crochets. The next step is to chain one, turn your work, and in this very first single crochet, we want to double crochet. And we want to repeat that in every stitch all the way across for a total of 13 double crochets, and I will meet you back. Okay. I'm on my 13th double crochet and again make sure you're going through both of those yarns uh, usually looks like a V and we're going to repeat the whole previous row chain one turn and this is our last row um, and double crochet in each of the chains going back and I will meet you back okay once you've uh, done your 13th double crochet, chain one, um, cut your yarn, um, and sew in your ends, which I've already done. Um, the next step is to show you how to make the granny square portion. And what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochets and chains um, to set up our granny square. Um, and this, they're going to be at these points, and I'll, I'll walk through you, through, I'm sorry, I'll walk with you. And walk you through each one of them but just to tell you right now it's going to be in this corner that corner that corner right here right here on both sides of the cherry again the same thing on this side corner 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 where the yellow yarn starts right here for the base we're going to put single crochet right here and to make me remember I just look at the line coming down that way then we're gonna put one right here count three chains another one another one right here back to this side and we'll slip right here so grab whatever yarn that you're gonna do your granny square portion right here and I will meet you back okay so I've attached my yarn where the yellow started, and that's going to be um, where we start chaining. So attach your yarn, we want to chain three, two, three, and then in this corner, I want to be sure you're grabbing both yarns, loops I mean, chain three, single crochet, in that corner, chain three, 
and then a single crochet in this corner and what this row does is set up for the granny square so it doesn't look lopsided or crooked right here next to the cherry it's going to be on one side of the cherry for this one single crochet if you want to just hold that cherry down with your thumb chain three two three and then we're going right here on the other side of the cherry single crochet in one two three this corner one two three Some of these are, stitches can be kind of tedious, so just try to get it in there um, as best as you can. See, I'm struggling a little bit with this one. Okay, that'll work. No, that's just one. There we go. One, two, three. This corner. one two three and then back where the yellow starts single crochet chain three and then there's that line that I'm using as a marker we're just gonna stick it right here stick our hook right there single crochet one two three and then down here at the bottom I usually count about into the third chain, single crochet, three chains, one, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, and then skip your, not skip, I'm sorry, what do you do? You skip some, so, I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, one, two, three, and then you should end up kind of where you were on the opposite end. I don't want to make it as, as close copying as possible. And then back here where that line is, I said that we're using as a marker, kind of, guide, a majiggy. And then our last one, back here to slip. So we should end up with 18 chain three spaces. So we're going to count. First one right here from our hook. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Behind the cherry, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we're good. The next row we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch right into that first space, chain three and then chain three again and do two double crochet. So our corners are going to be right here in the white row and then down here in the bottom of that last double crochet row with three sets in between. So next row, the next space we're inserting three double crochet and again I'm going to do this kind of fast because um, everybody knows how to do the granny square um, pattern so there's no need to reinvent the wheel chain two and then three double crochet um, you'll notice that I don't put spaces in between my sets of three um, that's a personal preference if you feel more comfortable putting one that is totally up to you I don't think it would be a problem with the pattern some people I've even seen it where they put two and three in the corners um, but uh, that's just totally up to you it's crocheters preference um, I just do it without a space because I find that looks more neater, it's more tidier, and then through wear and tear, uh, washing machine use, dryer use, it doesn't look as stretched. 
Um, so that's how the pattern was set up. So, but you can do it however you're comfortable with. Like I said, I don't think it's going to affect the outcome of the pattern, the original pattern. So you can see I'm going kind of fast here in this row um, because I want to show you exactly the setup row, the second part of the setup row because the chains were initially the setup row. And now we're coming to a corner right here. We're doing our chain three. Chain two, and then our chain three, and then I am going to come down here to this corner and I'll go meet you back. Okay, so we're back at the corner and doing exactly the same thing with our three chains. Chain two, oops, and then your other three double crochets. Now I use the same yarn uh, for both of these rows. If you want to switch up and use a different one, that's totally up to you. Um, but um, I just did it this way. The good thing about patterns is that you can customize them to whatever you want as long as you're following kind of the, the same format. You can tweak it into your own. And we're going to slip stitch right here into the top of the third chain. And if you want to change the yarns right now, you can. But I'm going to continue. And uh, to start this next row, what I do is I slip stitch to the next space. And then this is where I start. If you're ever unsure where to put your um, sets of double crochets, just look in that next row, I'm sorry, the row below it, and you'll see our single crochets. So repeat this row and I will meet you back. Okay, so we're back and we've done our two rows in our um, border color, maybe not border, but um, outside border. And the next thing you want to do is just attach your white or whatever color you're choosing to uh, combine your squares to join them and do one full row because you're going to need one that's completely done to start the join as you go. So go ahead and get that done and I will meet you back. Okay, so by this point you have one granny square that's pretty much completely done and we're going to start attaching. So we're going to grab one that doesn't have, in this case, a white border. Your, your connecting joining color and you want to attach in one of the corners. Um, at at this point, I suggest I also suggest that you kind of spread out your squares um, however you want them to be, um, and that way you can just pick them up as you go. So what I've done here is I've attached my white, and we're going to start doing a corner cluster, but we're not going to finish it. So we chain three. chain one and at this point we're gonna stick our crochet hook in the joining square we're gonna call this the second square in through the top out through the bottom and just grab your yarn and do a slip stitch just like that we will finish that corner chain second chain and then come back to your first square and finish your three double crochet it's kind of awkward at first, um, and then it's, it might not even look right to you, but please trust, it, it does come out in the end. Um, once you get the gist of it, 
it's going to come second nature to you. So coming down the line here, or the row, I'm sorry, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to line up our sets of three, double crochet, go in from the top, grab our yarn, slip stitch. There will be no chains. Um, however, if you're doing a chain in between your sets, then this, that's a fine time to do it all the way down and then just come back to your first square and finish your three double crochet. Again, the next one, we're going in from the top, your crochet hook out from the bottom, grab your yarn, it's a slip stitch, go back into your first square, you want to immediately yarn over if you can try to remember that. Let me, let me help you out because this is what helped me learn, so it might help you. Again, right here, we're going into the one matching, in from the top, out from the bottom. We're going to grab our yarn, pull it straight through, yarn over. So if you can remember right after your slip, yarn over, you go back to your first, your very first uh, square, and just finish your set of three double crochets. One more time, in from the top right here, grab your yarn, slip, yarn over, and then go back to your first square. I'm going to finish these next two, and then we'll, I'll show you how to do the corner. In from the top, Grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, and finish your, oops, need some more yarn, three double crochets. In from the top, the yarn's coming out from the back, just grab your yarn, you have a slip stitch, and go back here. So. We are at a corner, and again, we're going to do the first part of the corner, the first set of the corner. You have your three double crochets. We're going to chain one, and then into that corner, grab it, grab your yarn, pull it through. You have a slip knot, that second chain, corner chain, and then come back and finish this off. And from here, you just finish the rest of the row with your white coming back and join right here, and I'll meet you back.